Hello all you lovely people and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play local Steam games on your Android phone. Now, in this case, I'm using my Vivo X300. And um, let me just clarify a few things here. This is not a stream. There's no laggy Wi-Fi. There is no subscription fees that you require and definitely no server in a warehouse miles away. This is playing Sleeping Dogs, the PC version of this game, locally on your Android phone. Now, in my case, I'm using my Vivo X300. And let me again clarify that this is the PC version of Sleeping Dogs. And it's running locally on the Vivo X300 using something called Game Hub. So we are looking at a full Windows PC um, version. And this is a Windows to Android emulation layer that turns this smartphone, the Vivo X300 in my case, into a pocket-sized gaming PC. So the question now is, can a mobile chip, even one as powerful as the Dimensity 9500, can it actually handle high-octane open-world titles like Sleeping Dogs? Well, today we're looking at the pros, we're looking at the cons, and the sheer technical wizardry of the local PC gaming on the Vivo X300. So I'm just going to click on that continue game, and we're going to continue this game. I have been playing this. Um, I've been trying this out. There is a small little performance marker here as well. When you start the game, you will notice, as it says, I'm getting like 55 FPS, by the way. So as you can see, the game looks incredible, guys. And in case you're wondering how on earth is this possible? Well, we're using something called Game Hub. It's an app that you can download through the Play Store. And uh, it's a front end that leverages layers like WinLater and uh, DXVK to translate Windows code for Android. Now, the Vivo X300 is the perfect test subject. With the Dimensity 9500 that's on the Vivo X300 and that massive RAM overhead, it has the grunt needed to brute force its way through this title. Obviously, this is from 2020, uh, sorry, not 2020, but 2012. But it is an open world title. It used to be a demanding title way back then. Now, the beauty is that there is no cloud gaming required. And the files are sitting right on your phone's internal storage. So let me just show you how this game plays very quickly. Now, as you can see, the game is running silky smooth, buttery smooth, if you would notice. I mean, just look at it. It's really smooth. I'm getting like 40, 9, 50 FPS and um, incredible performance, guys. Incredible performance. Now, one of the key benefits that you would immediately notice or the biggest pro is the responsiveness. Because it's local, there is zero input lag in a game like Sleeping Dogs, where the combat is all about timing your counters. Well, this is a game um, that requires you to have less input lag. And trust me, it's a game changer, guys. It feels as tight as playing on a local PC or on a Steam Deck. And since we are not streaming, you can play this anywhere in a tunnel, on a flight, in the middle of the woods. If your phone has battery, you have Hong Kong on your phone. You're no longer tethered to a router. You also get the full PC graphics menu. And let me just quickly show you that. Oh, this is paused now. Let me just go over this cutscene. But even the cutscenes, look at the performance here. 50 FPS, guys. Incredible. And on this AMOLED screen of the X300, you can push the resolution. Well, look at that. Look at that. Look at that smoothness. Look at that buttery smoothness. But let me just show you this very quickly. That here, you have all the options that you would get in a... PC game. Now, isn't that incredible? You can push the resolution. You can push the textures. Right now, I'm on low graphics level. But, I mean, the options are there. So that's a good thing. The rain effects, the neon reflections, they all look phenomenal here, guys. And the game definitely feels buttery smooth. I mean, just look at it. Incredible, eh? That is fast, guys. That is fast.
And yeah, it's just a tutorial because I've just recently started this game. So this is definitely running well. But let me just quickly pause here and let me tell you some of the cons as well. Now, one of the cons that you would have is that you would start noticing heat um, behind your phone because this is also a small fam form factor. So I'm playing with the X300. Now, if you have a larger screen, if you have a larger phone, then probably the thermal management is comparatively better. But one of the immediately uh, noticeable cons would be the heat factor. Now, this is a heavy lift for a phone. So local emulation, it pushes the CPU and GPU to its brim. And I've played this for about 15 to 20 minutes. And let me tell you that the Vivo X300 definitely gets hot. In fact, any phone of this form factor, I think, will get hot. Vivo's vapor chamber cooling helps, but eventually you will see the frame rate drip um, from over to the high 50s. Uh, it will drop. It will drop. As you continue gaming, it will start dropping. So from the 50s, probably you'll go down to what? Like 40s? So that's one of the immediate cons that you would notice. But the gameplay is smooth, guys. It is smooth, eh? There. Fantastic. So don't expect all day play on a setup like this. Because uh, the second con that I would want to discuss is the... Uh, battery life well it is a battery vampire now you're looking at maybe two to three hours at most of gameplay uh before you're, before you're hunting for a charger so this is an extreme scenario where your mobile phone's battery also knows it so well that's a bummer as well now finally this isn't exactly plug and play because you have to mess with drivers container settings and resolution patches in Game Hub's um, uh, settings to get it stable. It's a tinkerer's paradise, but a casual gamer's headache. So expect occasional crashes as well. Look at that. Whoa, you can even grab these enemies. <laughs> it, I, I love this element of sleeping dogs. It was, I think it was a game which was ahead of its time. And this is your Asian GTA. Right there for you. Incredible gameplay. Now, the question is, is it better than cloud gaming? Well, if you have the hardware, then yes. The lack of input lag makes the game actually playable, even at high levels. And the Vivo X300 proves that it's a performance monster, but you have to treat it like a mini PC. Well, keep a charger nearby. Maybe use a phone cooler for long sessions and be ready to tinker with the settings. But seeing, you know, your protagonist jump over a market stall in full HD running locally on a phone, well, that never gets old. What PC games um, should I try next to emulate on the Vivo X300? Drop your suggestions in the comments section. And again, guys, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe for more impossible mobile gaming. See you all in the next one. And um, I wish you all a very happy new year. May you have a great new year in front of you. And uh, may it be filled with happiness, joy, peace, and prosperity. <laughs> I'll see you lovely folks in my next video. Until that time, I'll say take care, stay safe, and may God bless you all.